Hey, y'all, LP here. Uh, coming to you from the shop. I don't rarely do this for anybody but the members, but this is kind of important. There's a story that's developing that you may or may not know about that is going to affect not just elections, but us as American consumers, very much like that thing that we can't speak about. So with that said, I've taken the, the liberty of doing some bullets for you, getting some information out to you, and here it is. Last week, the CEO of Flexport, one of the largest supply chain logistic operators in the U.S., warned that the biggest wild card in this presidential election that nobody's talking about is the looming port strike that could shut down all East and Gulf Coast ports just 36 days before the election. Nah, it's serious. <coughs> With just... <coughs> oh. El Natural, no editing happening here today. With just a week until the deadline, authorities are preparing as a threatened strike by dock workers at ports along the East and Gulf Coast draw closer. A spokesman for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey stated that the agency is, quote, conditioning, I'm sorry, coordinating with partners across the supply chain to prepare for any impacts. From a potential work stoppage involved, workers represented by the International Longshoremen's Associations as they negotiate with the United States Maritime Alliance, the spokesman emphasized the importance of reaching common ground to keep cargo moving, noting that $240 billion in goods pass through these ports annually, supporting more than 600,000 local jobs. This is pretty big, guys. According to the union, a strike would affect ports from Maine to Texas, disrupt supply chains more severely than the uh, immediate aftermath of that thing that we can't talk about. A stoppage, the first since 1977, could involve up to 450,000 workers at ports, according to roughly uh, accounting for roughly 60% of the U.S. shipping traffic. This is huge. Analysts from Oxford Economics warn that even two weeks strike could disrupt supply chains until 2025. Uh, Rabo Bank, Rabo Banks, it's called Rabo Bank, Rabo, R A B O B A N K, Rabo Bank, Rabo Banks, Michael Every noted that U.S. businesses could miss critical sales periods like Black Friday and Cyber Monday with port trade valued at around $2.12 trillion. Potentially grinding to a halt. A one-day strike might take six days to recover from, while a week-long strike in October could create bottlenecks until mid-November. The ILA has threatened to strike if a new labor agreement is not reached by the time the current contract expires on October 1st. Although negotiations are ongoing, the likelihood of a rare strike affecting some of the nation's biggest port is ports is increasing. Bethany Rooney, director of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, indicated that without intervention, a shutdown, when they say intervention, they mean the government. A shutdown is expected at midnight on October 30th. Should this occur, all loading and unloading activities would cease. Through cruise, uh, though cruise ships would continue to operate. The Port Authority is not directly involved in the bargaining, but is working to expedite cargo handling ahead of the potential strike with plans to upload or unload about 150,000 containers before the deadline. So they're trying to get ahead of it in case it actually happens. Ocean carriers have begun imposing embargoes on export cargo to prevent goods from being stranded at East and Gulf Coast ports. Container ships carrying imports destined for, destined for New Jersey and New York City may be forced to remain at sea until the strike concludes. We saw this during that thing we cannot speak about. The ILA previously walked away from the bargaining table in June, citing violations related to the automation introduction at the port of Mobile in Alabama. The ILA represents 85,000 workers across the East and Gulf Coast, is demanding significant wage increases and protections against automation. 
Uh, the USMX expressed uh, expressed disappointment over the ILA's refusal to engage in negotiation unless all its demands are met. So they're they're really going to go for it. While well, the Taft-Hartley Act allows the president to impose an 80-day cooling off period to delay a strike, President Biden, I guess, has indicated he does not intend to use this option, considering the potential impact on union votes. This decision is particularly pertinent given that the Teamsters have withheld support for Kamala Harris, despite the unions trading back for uh, traditional backing of Democrats. Experts warn that the kind of strike being discussed could severely hinder Harris's chance in the election on November 5th. Well, what it would actually do is kind of kind of lock in that they don't have control of anything. That that's that's for another video. Here's the thing, guys. In the same way that we had to prepare for that thing that we cannot speak of, we have to prepare for this. Maybe, maybe, double up on your preps. Maybe the things that you need for Christmas, get them now. Maybe the things that you need for Thanksgiving, get them now, okay? I'm sure we can find a couple of turkeys on sale at the local Wally World for something, something a pound that'll be reasonable. Because if this actually happens, the economy itself is going to be an issue. It's going to be a major issue. And... For all of you uh, black swan tinfoil hatting preppers out there, this could literally be the reason to declare some form of an emergency that would give presidential power that oomph that it needs to say, maybe we don't need an election right now. But that's just a theory. All right, guys. Hopefully you've uh, taken this information. This is actually the kind of stuff that I normally do for the members. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description. As usual, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on the way out the door. And if you're new, subscribe. I pass this kind of info all the time. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.